News 4 Jack starts right now with a breaking news alert. The manhunt is on for a dangerous man. Authorities are increasing the reward for any information leading to the arrest of Patrick McDowell. Nassau County Sheriff's Office says he shot Deputy Josh Moyers twice. We still think he's in this area somewhere. Uh, we're going to continue to search to look for him. And hopefully he'll turn up soon. SWAT teams have been going door to door in the Callahan area asking everyone if they are okay and if they have seen him. Sheriff Leeper says they have found a couple of notable items. The community is also keeping the family of Deputy Moyers in their prayers. Officials say he is not going to survive the injuries he sustained. His family adds they will donate his organs. The sheriff's office posting this message on their Facebook as they began their first operational shift without Moyers, adding we put on a brave face and hide the tears as there is work to be done. Tonight we carry you with us as we continue to search for this animal that took you from us. Right now, News 4 Jacks reporter Aaron Farrar is live at the command center in Callahan. Aaron, those searching for McDowell say they have found two items of interest so far. Yeah, Sheriff Leeper says those two items are a flashlight and a hat they believe to be McDowell's. That's why they're concentrating on the particular area where this search is right now. We want to show you uh, where, what the command center looks like right now. You see so many different agencies involved. They've been going in and out of this area for the last two days now. But take a look at this. Here's what the search is consisting of right now. SWAT team members going door to door, checking our residents, making sure they are okay and safe and asking if they've seen McDowell at all. The sheriff's office says the search is pretty much in a five square mile area, which covers more than 3000 acres. The area includes a mix of houses, hunting camps and large wooded areas. This massive search involving 300 personnel from more than a dozen different agencies. Sheriff Leeper does have a strong message for anyone living in this particular area. If you're in a home and he breaks in your home and you have a gun, blow him out the door because he's like a rabid animal. He will kill you with his mindset. What he did to that deputy was uncalled for and unnecessary, and he needs to pay for it. Somebody will find him. He's going to get tired. He's going to get hungry. I mean, it's going to happen. It sucks. It might take a couple more days or so, but they will find him, mm -hmm. if not somebody else. As you continue to take a look at just how many agencies and different people are involved in this massive search that has now gone beyond two days now. Sheriff Leeper also does have another strong warning for all of you out there in this area. He warns if they find out that you helped McDowell escape uh, from being found, you will also be arrested. So another strong message from Sheriff Leeper as this search for Patrick McDowell continues this morning. Reporting live from Callahan, I'm Aaron Farrar, Channel 4, the local station.